welcome to Mama Cat's home. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my faith planner and um, this is the way the week that we just came out of uh, turned out. I can't figure out what I'm trying to say here because I'm trying to say something different than what I'm what's actually coming out. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Um, but uh, this was the week of July 29th through August 4th and um, I use this for scripture writing and as of August 1st, I started only writing one scripture a day so I can put more time into Bible study. And actually, since I recorded the last one, I actually explained to you guys about that. But since I um, recorded the last one, not only have I started the new Bible study actually today, today is Thursday, so, and you'll see this on Friday, um, but I've also started a Bible reading challenge this week with um, oh goodness I can't think of coffee and Bible time they um, it's two sisters young girls um, much younger than me uh, one one of them I know is in Bible college I've just recently started watching their YouTube channel they also have a website but they had put out um, an Old Testament reading challenge so I've started that this week to read the Old Testament um, and this is what it is um, and we will finish up and I'm I'm sorry I'm saying um so much but it will be 26 weeks worth of reading and she has it all it's February 6 is when it should end but it said it started August 1st but I started mine on the 5th and I'm just going to catch up which the way that it is set up it starts on Monday so I don't know I may be a tiny tiny bit behind but I'm good with that I'm fine with that but whenever I found out about it from one of my subscribers and one of the ladies that follows me on Instagram she actually introduced me to this channel um, she uh, she's doing it as well and her name is Kathy too so that's kind of cool y'all anyway um it's just a neat little st um, just Bible reading and I feel like if you can't sit down and read there are lots of apps like the YouVersion app that will read the Bible to you and I think that will work too I also have the Bible on CD and MP3 which the MP3 is still a CD, but it's, um, I don't know. I bought it from Lifeway. <laughs> Anyways, I've started doing that now, and I'm really enjoying it. And my husband's friend from work has started uh, sending him home with little questions. From Well, he's done it from time to time throughout the years. But he sent him home with a question, and then I sent my husband back to work with another question about the Bible. And, um kind of got him a little bit stumped but I'm going to ask you guys this question and I want you to answer down below and next week hopefully I won't forget next week I'll give you the answer but which lady in the Bible was the only one whose age was recorded at the time of her death I want you guys to put that down in the comments below if you know and if you don't know search it and um it's really awesome that you know there are little things like that and I know it's not something that is a huge thing that is something that's gonna matter for your salvation or anything like that but it's really awesome to learn little things about the Bible that you just really you know maybe didn't stand out but for some reason this lady's age was important so anyways I want you guys to let me know and hopefully 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 whenever i record next week i will not forget to tell you the answer and i just i don't know it's just maybe i'll start doing that maybe i'll do little quizzes or little things for this just this video because this is about bible and bible study and stuff like that so anyways um that's what this is used for is scripture writing and my reading and scripture and i'm going to go ahead and move on to decorating this week I've got my place marked with my little book, one of the books I'm going to use. Um, but I did not take out my other um, stickers that I need. I need those too. 
something exciting is starting is it this week no it's the next one something exciting is starting back with our church we are starting back with wednesday nights we only have church every other wednesday night and we don't have it during the summer months we from what i understand before i ever started going there we used to have church during the summer but the church got so small and people quit coming much during the summer but anyway our small groups don't meet but we are encouraged to meet otherwise and we also i have my book club and um so that's going to be starting back this month and i'm really excited about that i wish we had it every single wednesday night but we don't but that's okay too um i'm going to get started with this and it will be august the 12th through the 18th and i guess i'll just start with the dates but um the last time i recorded which was the day before yesterday tuesday when i recorded my happy nietzsche i had a headache and i don't know why and um i've gotten a comment i know one so far about you know one of my followers praying for me and i'm so grateful for your prayers i am feeling better i'm um in a really good mood today the only thing that has bothered my mood all day is um when i took my son to work which this bothers it's not bothering my mood it's just a little worrisome but there is this gentleman who you see you know you sometimes see people and you know that they either have a mental problem or an alcohol problem or a drug problem or something like that you know something's going on but you don't know what it is and i i've seen this man several times around the same area but today he was walking out in the middle of traffic and it was really scary that he did that but um he got across and he was fine but it's just sometimes those things they're worrisome and you know people that happens they sometimes have a mental inst instability or they have a drug problem or an alcohol problem and you just don't know because you don't know the person but I know that um, I've seen this man whenever like going into stores and stuff he'll just scream and stuff like that and he's kind of scary so I'm afraid to approach and I couldn't I don't know there people just don't approach him for some reason um what did, what would you do in a situation like that I mean I don't know even the police have um i've seen them around him talking to him and it's like i don't know anyway these are the washies that i had chosen for this week for all my planners i ended up only using this one in it in my first one and i'm only going to use two more of these oh that fell so i'm probably going to use this one and this one because they're the more well these are neutral but i'm just saying they're the ones that i think would be the better choices and this one actually has little butterflies on it and I'm planning on doing this one a little bit different than I normally do for this planner I may end up using the other ones down here but I don't know yet where's my washi cutter it was right here what have I done oh dear oh there it is I hid it from myself but um anyway there are homeless people that you, we see quite often, and some of them, there's one guy, and I'm not very sure if he's homeless or not, because you see him quite often, but he does not, he will not accept money from anyone. Um, but he does have a dog, and he'll accept you giving his dog, give him some dog food or something, like a little bag of dog food, or he'll accept something from mcdonald's or something like that but he will not take money from anyone so i don't think uh, maybe he um is you know low income or something but he's not asking for money i don't know if he's homeless but and i don't think that we have a, a huge problem with homeless people in our town but we do have quite a bit of them i mean there there are other towns that it's a lot worse and there are homeless programs but i don't know sometimes i have given people money when i had it but i don't usually carry cash but i've given some people money and um if i feel prompted to if i can if i'm you know in a position where that i can i have given money our church has actually went around and given out like bags of different things for people 
So, I don't know. But there are programs in our city if people want to use them. And the police actually tell people about them from what I understand. I don't know for sure, though. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in my church sticker. This is from Craft Penguin Planner. These are her silver foil. Oh, I said it right. Silver. Uh, silver foil church script stickers. If it'll focus. Come on, focus for me. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Um... But yeah, I know there are a lot of people who are down on their luck and, you know, you, you want to help them if you can, but then sometimes you can't or you have no means to help them, so I don't know. I'm going to go off that subject, though, but I'm going to use probably some stickers from each one of these books. This was an Agenda 52. This one is an American Crafts, and this one is the Happy Planner. This one I got from uh, Tuesday morning. I got this one from Hobby Lobby and this one from Hobby Lobby. So, um, and I always go whenever they're on sale and get them that way. But I wanted to use some of the flowers out of this one because it has these pretty flowers. But um, I'm going to kind of do a little bit different than I think I've ever done in this planner or in any planner. I'm thinking that I am anyway, if I can figure it out. But first, I want to go ahead... Maybe I don't. Maybe I'll wait on that part. Down here, I'll wait just a few minutes and let's see how I get this other part going. But I want to put in flowers, which now these flowers are not as, I don't know. But I want to do flowers and I want to do um, I can't think. Quotes or scriptures. But I want to figure out what I'm going to put over here first for my prayer list. And I did not do that. And I should have done that. But I did not do that. Um, let me see. I can take one of these. And change up. What um, it actually says. This says sermon notes, but it's not going to be for sermon notes. And I'm going to put it up at the top. Just because I want this to be at the top. But I'm going to figure out... Did I go too far up? I did. Glad I hadn't pushed it all the way down. I had it hanging off the page. Um, but I don't... I mean, honestly, this would not be big enough for my sermon notes. I need pages, not not a little rectangle. So that would never work for that. But I can go in and put in like a sticker that says prayer or prayer list or something like that. If I have one in here, if I do not have one in here, I can figure something out. Let me do, let me see. I have some of these that are leftovers and that will actually match. So I will put that there over that. It matches, but I have to get it lined up for it to work the way I want it to. Okay. And then I can find something. Okay, here we go. Praying for. See? Make it work for you. There we go. Now I can decorate however I choose. And I want, like I said, I want to put um, like flowers, which I don't know if I'm going to use this one. Because honestly, I don't think it's going to work as well as I thought it was. Um, for what I wanted the colors kind of just are not what I want but I want to use flowers and I want to use um, scripture if I can find the scripture I want to use and just stuff like that so I'm probably going to be pulling from this quite a bit what color did I use up there a green
sometimes I can't get my hands to work right. I probably should have went ahead and chose, but I just wanted you guys to kind of see the process. And also, it's about to storm, I think. So, I'm hoping that I can get this done. By his wounds, we are healed. That one. I also found out that um, a lady from church that her husband has cancer and they thought that it wasn't but then they thought it, that it might be and they weren't sure but it is and he's got to have treatment um so that's something else that is going on in her, well in her life that's going on and it's 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 not an easy situation they have two young boys my mind has been on that since i found out so it's there's just different things that have been going on not necessarily to me it's not happening to to me but it's things that are on my mind that i'm praying about i'm gonna put this one down here or no i'm gonna stick it down here yeah and you know there's things that don't affect you personally but they affect people you care about and you know need to pray about those things a lot of times okay so now I'm going to go ahead and just put in some of these I like these flowers but they're a little large but I don't really want to cut them off I've seen some ladies cut their stickers and they look really good the way they do them I am just not sure about my abilities to do that but I'm gonna snip that one off some with my scissors Well, I didn't even snip it enough. I was afraid I was going to cut my page. Don't want to cut the page. There we go. See, it doesn't take away the character of the sticker. It's still pretty much the whole sticker there, but it's just a tiny snippet off of it. I thought there were more of those. I feel as if... Um, I'm more disorganized than I thought I was before I got started with this. But sometimes we just disorganized. Oh, that almost fits exactly. But I do have to cut a little snippet off. Little snip not a lot so I'm gonna put that there and I think because I have the other color over there I'm gonna put this one down right here and it will be covering that up Which actually, the um, question I had asked about the lady, it was actually something I just recently, really just, I mean, I, I knew it, but I didn't know it. You know, it was one of those situations where um, you just don't pay attention to it or it's not something that, you know it because you've seen it, but it's not as important to you because you didn't know it mattered. I don't know how to explain it. It doesn't stand out to you until it stands out to you. This one says Jesus Christ, and I'm going to put that one in right there. And this one says praise the Lord, and I want to put it in right here. Then I want to find some little something to put there. Okay, this one says glory to God. I'm going to put that one in right there. 
I ended up with that orange and there's nothing else orange on here so I feel like there needs to be some orange over here which I put these colors in because of this and then you know kind of was going and it doesn't even really match the washi but the washi is kind of neutral except this pink I was planning on putting more pink in so that's why I pulled this in but now the orange is kind of like why you know so I'm trying to figure out what else I want to put in that might be orange and there were no more flowers I thought there was some more flowers in here that was smaller that were smaller not that was smaller me and my grammar police from my home self I speak some kind of crazy language I don't know what it is oh I think I'll do this it says blessed and I'll just put it in if I can get it to work down here across this I think that's cute and it's got the orange so I pulled that over and really that's all I need to do for that I need to write in um what I'm going to be writing over here is reading and scripture and it's not reading the Bible it's reading something um, else it's like which now I could count it as my daily challenge reading too but it's actually just reading something else that's um, maybe a faith-based book a, a devotional something you know something else um, that is what this is for and the scripture is for me posting my scripture on Instagram, which I do that every day. And then over here, I write in the, um, I've started writing in what, oh, that's what I needed to do. I needed to cover that up. This is not going to be for the grateful thoughts anymore. And I still have this gold foil or gold, it's, well, it is foil, but this gold piece here leftover and I'll put that there and I thought that there was one that said scripture but anyway this is for my scripture writing now so that's what I put in here Sunday school, mission trip, okay. Quiet time, maybe I could put that down because it is part of my quiet time. So yeah, I'll put that down. There. Okay, so this is where I write in what scripture I'm writing here. And I have started this week. Um, I normally would write in what the scripture was but this week I have started not writing in what the scripture is because it's right here. So um, I'm going to write them all in here. And it's Proverbs 31 is the one we're doing now. And the link to this uh, scripture writing plan is in my link tree. Uh, but it's very simple. Each day we're writing one scripture from Proverbs 31. And it just follows along with the days of the a month so it's really easy and I don't know why I'm doing it this way but I am I guess because I know it will fit but I don't know what I'm going to be doing what what I've got some different thoughts for next month and I'm not sure which one I want to do I'm kind of leaning toward um, children because actually next month is my son's birthday and he was my firstborn son so or my firstborn <laughs> the first uh, baby I actually carried full term so anyways, I'm thinking about doing about children, but I'm not sure yet what study I'm going or what scriptures I'm going to be doing next time. I, 
kind of went all over the place with this one today. Um, but this is the way it's going to look for next week. And I hope you guys enjoyed this crazy video. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet.